Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this February 20th. Dense fog advisory. It's uh, in effect through 8 o'clock Central Time this morning, and uh, the fog is pretty thick out there. Looking around at uh, some of the AAA Systems Weather Cam Network, we've got dense fog at most all locations. It's a little patchy in a couple of areas. It just depends on where you are, and if you're next to a body of water, uh, you're more likely to have the fog this morning. Just be careful. Dense fog means that conditions are showing us visibility down to a quarter mile or less, and that will have an effect on your driving this morning. Um, you know, it's it gets a little hazardous when you get down, uh, in some cases, the fog this thick. You can't see the fella in front of you. Keep the lights on low beam and just slow down and allow yourself some extra time to get to your destination. It is President's Day, and there may be a few school systems that are not in today, but I can tell you that Warren County schools are in session. They're using this as a makeup day from uh, back uh, late last year when we did have that, what was it, that one snow that we've had all winter (laughs) that one little snow uh, that we had all winter when we had uh, you know some slick roads that's that's about it though but we're looking at near record high temperatures expected today and maybe even through much of this week every single day this week we're going to hit at least 70 degrees every day this week it's crazy So let's get to it. Uh, Yesterday, we had a high of 66 on Sunday. That happened around 430 at the Bowling Green Airport. That's 15 degrees warmer than the average of 51. 42 was the low temperature. That's 11 degrees warmer than the average low of 31. A year ago, we had a high of 71 and a low of 51 back in 2016 we've had no rainfall past 24 hours we'll say after the morning fog we'll see some sunshine today but increasing clouds near record warmth and a high at 73 with a southeast wind at nine tonight mainly cloudy mild overnight low at 53 but then for tuesday the first in a series of systems move in with a chance of showers and a high near 70 Then a little system passes on. We'll see maybe a leftover shower early Wednesday morning. And then mostly cloudy, 72. That could be close to a record as well. Uh, The record high on Wednesday is 74, set back in 1922. 73, with a chance of showers coming in late Thursday. And then a more potent system comes in Friday afternoon and evening with a 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms. And there's even a remote possibility that we could see a few strong thunderstorms out of that system. The uh, Storm Prediction Center already putting out uh, some, uh, well, early flags on that system that some parts of our region could see some strong to possibly severe storms. Whether that happens here or not is too soon to say. But we'll see a high of 73. Behind that front is when we cool down. But (laughs) here's the thing. We're not going to cool down. We're not going to get cold. It's just going to cool off. And temperatures will pretty much go back to where they should be this time of the year. But even 55 and mostly sunny Saturday is still running 4 degrees above average. And then we warm back to 58, close to 60 by Sunday with sunshine. And even warmer next week is winter over. I know you want to, I know everybody's wanting to pull the trigger. Winter's over. Ah, oh, winter's over. We're not going to get, it's, it's not going to get cold. It's all right. Well, it might not, but I'm not ready to pull the trigger just yet. It's still February, still February. And we've had snow in March, so I'm not pulling the trigger yet. I'm still saying there could be that one shot of cold air and moisture meeting up to where we get maybe just one snow. It may not be much, 
but I'm holding out on that. I just I'm not ready yet to say that that winter is over. Not yet. Okay? I'm holding out. I'm a patient. I'm trying to be a patient person. <laughs> I didn't used to be patient at all. And by this juncture early in my career, I would have said, yeah, winter's over. Let's go into spring. And then, of course, it would come back to bite me. We would, uh, you know, we'd get that shot of cold air in winter. and Do not have egg all over my face. It wouldn't be the first time. But anyway, we'll see what happens. But it uh, looks like continued mild for, well, the remainder of February. Now, maybe right at the end of the month, next week, end of next week, um, the first couple of days of March. Yeah, we'll see. All right, that will do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. Later today, if you can join me on my radio show, I'd appreciate it. It's Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m.